Hey everyone, welcome back or to my channel. If you're new, my name is Tenzin. Thank you so much for being here today. And if you are returning, thank you so much for the support and watching this video. So today I wanted to do a sit down car chat because I feel like it's been a minute since I've done a sit down video. And I wanted to touch on self care specifically in this video because if it's anything that this year has taught us, it's that self care is essential and essential to the point where I feel that it's necessary to practice at least one thing that caters to your self care every day. So I wanted to talk about five self-care tips or self-care habits that I have developed and these are some practices that I feel has really made me mentally, emotionally, and just spiritually sound and aware during this really unprecedented difficult time that we're in. So I wanted to share those and the best part about these tips are that they are free and I feel that self-care can things that can qualify as self-care is definitely like facials and face masks and getting your nails done going to the spa those are great and those are definitely forms of self-care but they also cost money and they're also not necessarily the most important aspects of self-care the tips that i'm going to talk about are completely free and things that habits that you can develop as time goes on and that can become part of your daily routine so the first one that i'm going to mention practice gratitude on a daily basis and more specifically gratitude is the attitude that is the concept that is the ideal that i try to live by i've mentioned this in previous videos but i feel as though gratitude really does affect all the different domains in your life um it is one of those things that is a skill and that you need to practice to get better at and the more that i feel that i've counted my blessings and listed out physically on a piece of paper all the people or all the things or all the opportunities and experiences that i'm grateful for the more that i just feel happier by the end of that practice and makes me feel even more motivated and positive in my life and just makes me leave room to attract so much more because I've already felt so grateful for what I do already um, possess in my life. Unplugging from your phone before going to sleep. And I'm still getting better at this because it's really hard. There are a lot of nights where I just want to watch YouTube videos until I go to sleep or watch Netflix or whatever it is. But I do think that all the times that I have, instead of being on my phone right before sleeping, when I have put my phone away like by a certain time and then open up a book or write down my gratitude list or journal my thoughts, those are the times when I feel like I get better sleep and also it's just such a good safe space and such a like special time to reflect on my day and myself and I feel as though it clears my mind from everything that happened that day and puts me in a better mindset the rest of my week and for the for the following day so that is a big one and i'm also just speaking this out loud because i know that i want to keep myself accountable and i want to not just say that this is a healthy self-care practice but actually um start implementing this myself and holding myself accountable so the third self-care tip is let yourself address and process negative emotions as they come instead of suppressing it or sweeping it under the rug and moving past it immediately because I feel like this has been something that has been ingrained in me and that I've been starting to become way more aware of um, based on just the books that I've read and the podcasts that I've listened to but I feel as though your emotional state and your emotional health is one of the most important things that we need to learn how to manage and interact with and if that's not taken if that's not handled in a productive way or in, in a good way then that is going to seep into all the other aspects of our day in our life and we don't want it to do that so we want to be in as much control as we can and what i mean by this is whenever i've had feelings of self-doubt or just any kind of negative feeling about myself or my circumstances or just life i think that i've become a lot better at identifying that right away and instead of just dwelling in it i make sure that i sit back and process those feelings whether it's internally or i write them out or i talk to somebody just getting to the root of that emotion and figuring out why am i feeling this way what 
about my past or what about something that I did made me feel this way and how can I move past it and also is this feeling really a fact because I feel like that's a huge component to this if it's not a fact then it's not something that I should let define the way the rest of my day goes or the way that I think about myself for that day because like I've mentioned before the way that you think about yourself and speak to yourself is huge and it can make a lasting impact on your overall self-worth and self-love so that's a big one addressing emotions specifically negative emotions as they come along instead of brushing them to the side because it's so easy to do that but sitting there with yourself and actually asking yourself why you're feeling that way is huge and reflecting on that whether that's journaling or meditating or speaking to somebody or whatever it is the fourth one will have to be clearing up your physical space and adding some kind of spruce to it this goes without saying when you have a clean space you have a clean mind and you have a clear mind and if your immediate surroundings are cluttered or there's so many things around it then it's really hard to get into a healthy mindset and a clear frame of mind of how you want to accomplish that day's goals or that week's goals or whatever it is that task you have in front of you it's really hard to do that so what I've done especially to cater to this component is to I try to clean up my space as much as I can I try to move things around and make things look a little bit different and better than they did before just so that it's fun. It's a fun task, but it's also nice to see that when you redecorate or when you are cleaning consistently, you can always just reset your mindset and just feels like you have more to, you just feel more like you have more motivation to be productive. And then the last tip that I have is writing in your planner or your journal or your notebook, whatever, the list of things that you want to get done and crossed off for the next day. And I say this because I hope that this doesn't really contribute to the illusion of productivity. But for me, I truly feel that it does overall make me feel happier, more motivated and productive. Because when I write down, like, let's say on Sunday night for Monday, I'll write, here are the things that I want to do. And it can be as simple as doing the laundry all the way to starting, like, starting the first steps of a bigger project or whatever it is whether it's for school or work or your personal projects um, because I feel that when you write it out and see it it just serves as a reminder to that that is your visual goal like that is something that you want to work towards and I feel like crossing things off is just so satisfying too um, but yeah and I think that especially in quarantine it's hard to maintain productivity all the time which is completely normal but I feel like Ever since, at least for me, quarantine has completely changed the routine and structure that I was used to. And once quarantine began, that all was taken away and my structure, there was just on the other opposite of the spectrum, there was just no more structure. So because of that, just writing down what I want to do for the next day and crossing it off has been so rewarding and also given some kind of shape to my day, which has allowed me to stay inspired and just stay motivated throughout the day to be productive. So those were my five tips. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that some of these resonated with you. And if you could, please leave a comment on a self-care tip or habit that you've picked up or that you are trying to pick up during this time. And especially if it's free, that would be great. So in that sense, it's just a lifestyle choice or something that a habit that you've been developing that doesn't cost any money, something that trains your mind and trains your thoughts and yeah that would be great don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos